Tonight we had our winter Christmas concert with the grade 6 through 12 bands and choirs, and it was excellent. And it's so remarkable and wonderful to see how well-rounded our students are at, at BB High School. The concert was excellent. Our choir was, uh, they did a, a, joint, a, a joint song at the end with a sing-along where the crowd sang Silent Night with all grades 6 to 12 choir members singing. And Miss Maggie, Mrs. Maggie Harp, who taught until 2007 at BBE, was an accompanist. It was so fun to see her and, and have her be part of our concert. We have a bit, uh, actually not a, not a busy week after what was a very busy week last week. The dance team had the JV squad take first place out of three teams in their home meet, the JV kick. So that was really fun to see. The kids were very excited, and there was a lot of surprise, uh, some tears, some hugs, and I have a neat picture that actually shows our co coaches Katie Boy and Morgan Schringhammer jumping in the air above all of the team. They both had their fists pumped fists pumped. Uh, it was a pretty neat neat uh, moment for our dance team. The as, as everyone knows, the boys basketball team has been struggling without key players. Today I got good news that Luke Dingman resumed practicing and he will likely play on Thursday at Minnewaska. How much is, is yet to be determined, but that's really good news. They should get back in the win column. Uh, the girls' basketball team had a tough game. It was a weird game, as I said on the blog. They were owning Painesville through the first approximately uh, 12 minutes of the game. They were up 32 to 20. And for the last uh, 23, 24 minutes, they were held to just 16 points. It was one of the weirdest games I've ever seen. And it was very tough for the girls to lose that game. But they will rebound this week, and they face a tough Minnewaska team who's really good. And actually a competitor, actually, I don't know if they're a competitor with Painesville in Section 3 AAA. I think they are. Uh, so Minnewaska is going to come to our house th Thursday. The wrestlers, as everyone knows, has, are really rocking and rolling. They are out without the services of Louis Tenson at 133 or 127 or 130. I think 133 pounds. Louis Tenson is out with an injury. I don't know the result, the status of him. Um, the wrestlers took second out of 29 teams. They just are really, really uh, dominating early in the season, and they have not hit their peak. They have not hit their full form. Uh, hit their full stride. That's coming in January. I know that Coach Fester and Coach Yeager and, and the other rest of the coaching staff is going to get those guys uh, really, really kicking by the time playoffs come around. They have a big triangular tomorrow in Kimball. I hope a lot of you can go. I can't go because of work commitments at the newspaper. But triangular tomorrow at Kimball with Painesville also. Big, big duel. It's going to really set the Jaguars up. If they can go 2-0, and it'll set them up in the conference and in the section. Uh, Painesville is a section team. Kimball is in section 4A. And that's that's it for our sports. Uh, I wanted to share uh, uh, conversations I had with the Painesville head coach. I made a special point to comment and give him a, a tip of the hat when he, uh, he had to pull the dial back his his JV squad in the final seconds they were up 79 to 30 and I will never forget seeing him gesture to his players with about 10 or 12 seconds left they certainly had every right to go around and run for a shot but he uh, motioned for them to not take a shot and he said it was just the right thing to do in that moment to pull it off to pull off the pressure knowing they obviously had this this uh, blowout win in hand but that's very classy of the Painesville coaching staff 
and it should be applauded. Anytime you see good sportsmanship like that, it should be applauded and recognized. Uh, he, we had a, a drawn out conversation about uh, where they see, he talked actually about things he saw in baseball and in basketball where kids don't display good sportsmanship and uh, he he obviously has has that in mind when he's coaching that Bulldogs team who has a one that wants to gun for a, a, a share of the conference title last year Ian Valley and Payne's or BBE of course shared the CMC title so hats off to the Painesville Bulldogs and it's you have to win with class and lose with class. So now we go into Christmas break after this week. Last day of school is Thursday. We have gingerbread houses on Wednesday at the fax room. Or actually, that'll be at the cafeteria with Mrs. Hagemeyer's foods class. Always one of the highlights of my Christmas season. So it's a uh, we head into Christmas now. And I hope everyone has a, has a great Christmas. I don't know if I'll record another show or not before Christmas, but happy Hanukkah, <clears throat> Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on the other side. Um, <coughs> the basketball teams will play in St. Cloud, and I think at St. John's one game on Friday and Saturday, the 29th and 30th. So I'll maybe be doing a show next week to talk about that. 